The following is one in a series of informational videos focused on assisting brooder units who are producing or plan to produce dual purpose birds. A brooder unit, also known as a mother unit, purchases day old chicks and feed from a hatchery and raises them to 28 to 35 days of age. The chicks have been fully vaccinated by this age and the brooder unit then sells the birds to small holder farmers so they may produce eggs and meat for home consumption or sale. A dual purpose bird is one which produces more eggs and grows faster than the traditional village chicken. Yet the bird's plumage looks the same as the local breeds. Under the program supported by the World Poultry Foundation, dual purpose birds are vaccinated at the hatchery prior to sale to brooder units. Purchasing a hatchery vaccinated day old chick for brooding provides a healthier bird and one that will better able to deal with field disease exposure and challenges in its most vulnerable time, its first 14 days after hatch. Although the hatchery will vaccinate the chicks, booster vaccinations given at the brooder unit may also be required. Those undertaken by the brooding unit are generally administered through drinking water. For the best outcome, vaccination should form part of a greater disease prevention strategy that also includes effective biosecurity, sound hygiene and a stress-free production environment. What is a vaccine and why are chicks vaccinated? A vaccine stimulates the immune system to produce what are called antibodies. Antibodies allow the chick to respond to a viral or bacterial challenge by neutralizing the threat. This is called immunity, and immune chicks are healthier and more capable to react as if the bird was exposed to the disease. After getting vaccinated, the chick develops immunity to that disease. This is what makes vaccines such powerful medicine. Unlike most medicines which treat or cure diseases, vaccines prevent them. Chicks are vaccinated at the hatchery as this provides a controlled environment for the early exposure to vaccines. Hatcheries often have the technology and train veterinarians to properly vaccinate a large number of chicks under a controlled environment to assure complete vaccination coverage at a time when the chicks' immune systems are not yet fully developed. Although vaccines are provided at the hatchery, as a brooder, you may have to provide a booster vaccine at the brooding unit if required. Boosters depend on the vaccines administered at the hatchery. Thus, consultation with a poultry health professional will advise on the timing and type of booster vaccine needed. Generally, on farm vaccinations when necessary, will be given any time between day 10 and 21. Booster vaccination provides further protection for the duration of the brooding period. Do not vaccinate birds that suffer from some sort of stress, poor nutrition, parasites or already have a disease, as these birds will not have enough energy to properly respond to the vaccine. Let's review how to handle vaccines correctly. Vaccines need to be transported and stored at certain temperatures or their quality and effectiveness may be affected. When a vaccine is purchased, make sure that it has been stored in a fridge between two and eight degrees Celsius. Also, be sure to check the expiration date to assure it is still viable. When transporting a vaccine, place it in a cooler with a frozen ice pack. Do not allow the frozen ice pack to come into direct contact with the vaccine vial. Assure you have sufficient ice packs for number of vials and the time it will take to transport the vaccine. Place the vaccine in a fridge as soon as you reach the brooding unit. The vaccine must be used prior to expiration date on the label. Using a vaccine. Most vaccines administered by a brooder unit can be delivered through water. While this is a convenient way to administer vaccines, 
it is extremely important that directions are followed correctly. These steps are Number 1. Read the label instructions which came with the vaccine vial. Number 2. The water used to deliver the vaccine must be clean and chlorine free. Chlorine in drinking water will destroy the organism used in the manufacturing of the vaccine and make it ineffective. Be certain you have enough chlorine-free water available and that it is at room temperature. If using municipal water that is already chlorinated, a water stabilizer should be put into the water to be used for the vaccine. The water stabilizer should be added at least 15 minutes prior to mixing the vaccine. Number three, remove drinkers from the poultry house and be sure the birds do not have access to water for one to no more than two hours. Four, provide approximately 40% of the water for vaccination you would normally supply the chicks on a daily basis. Five, to mix a vaccine, make certain your hands are very clean but do not wash with soap as this may destroy the vaccine. Six, be certain you are mixing the vaccine correctly to meet the required concentration. A general rule is that the volume of vaccinated water provided be 40% of daily intake for the entire flock. Number 7. Open the vial under water and stir. 8. Fill the drinkers with a vaccine water mixture. 9. Wash hands after drinkers are filled. Number 10. The chicks should consume the vaccinated water in one to two hours. After two hours, remove any remaining drinkers. Number 11. Excess water containing the vaccine should be disposed of by placing it in a pit away from the poultry house. Cover the pit to protect children from the unused vaccinated water. 12. Once a vaccine vial has been used, it should be burnt or buried in a pit that is not accessible by children. And number 13. Keep a record of the date vaccines were administered, vial batch number and expiry date. Vaccines are important to maintain health of your flock. Work closely with your day or chick provider or veterinarian to assure the vaccines are appropriate and administered properly.